Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the size of the column or the dimension of the column. In this lecture, I will try to explain the minimum size of the column, the maximum distance between the two or three column, and why we increase the size of the column and when we have to increase the size of the column or the dimension of the column. So this lecture covers the, all the detail regarding the size of the column or the dimension of the column. So first to start with the minimum dimension of the column. The minimum dimension of the column recommended by the American Concrete Institute or the Indian standard is according to the ACI, American Concrete Institute and according to the Indian standard. They, they recommend to use the minimum size of the column is 9 inches cross 9 inches. Square column of 9 inches cross 9 inches should be the minimum dimension of the RC column. While in case of the Indian standard, they recommend to use the minimum size of the column is 225 millimeter and 225 millimeter. You cannot design your column minimum than these dimensions. Now, if this is your minimum dimension, so what should be the maximum spacing between the two RCC column? If this is my one RCC column, and this is another RCC column, and the top of the RCC column, there is a beam or slip. So what is the distance between these two RCC column? If I'm using the, this minimum spacing of the, this minimum dimension of the column, so the the distance between the two RCC column should be four meter. It should not be greater than the four meter. It should be kept in mind that when you are using the 9 inches cross 9 inches or 225 mm, 225 mm, which is the least dimension of the RCC cross section of the column. So you are not you are not allowed to use the distance between the two columns greater than the 4 meter. But you should always use the spacing between the two uh, RCC column less than the 4 meter. You can also use the distance between the two columns is 3.5 meter or 3 meter. But if you are using the distance between the two RCC column is 5 meter then it is not allowed because now due to the more spin the more load will act on the building um, and the columns so it may collapse that's why for the minimum size of the column they recommend to use the maximum size of the maximum spacing of the column is 4 meter this is the one important point regarding the size of the column and the spacing between the columns now when we have to increase this column size the increase of the column size depends on some factors now i would explain that increase of the column size that the increase of the column size depends on three main factors that why we increase the column size the first one is the so the first factor which uh, which is necessary to increase the size of the column is the in the increase in the distance between the two columns that when there is increase between the distance of two columns then we have to increase the size of the column so let's suppose consider this is one column and this is another column so when this column distance is let's suppose is five meter but when you are going to increase the size of the distance between the two columns is eight meter or nine meter then what should you do? You should also increase the size of this column. Because the reason is that this there, there are some beams placed on the above column. So if you are increasing the distance between the two columns, the more load is acting on your columns. So you have to increase the dimension of the column to resist the desired load on the column. For example, this is one column, this is another column. So this is the beam load acting in the column. But now if I increase the distance of this column to this place, what happened? There is more load of the beam acting on this column. So what you should do, you should must increase the size of the column or the dimension of the column. Otherwise, this beam column capacity will be not able to take the load. So the first reason to increase the size of the column is increase in the distance between the columns. So if you are increasing the distance between the two RCC columns, you must have to increase the size or the dimension of the column to take the load coming from the beams. So we have important information from the first factor which shows that the 
by increasing the distance between the two RCC columns, we are going to increase the size of the column. So we can write it here, the longer the span of the column, the longer, the longer the distance between the two columns or the longer the span, the longer the span between the two columns, it will, the greater the load will be act, right? So if you are increasing the span, the more load will act, the greater the loads acting on the columns and which effect the larger will be the column size the larger the size of the column and due to the larger size of the column the more cost the more cost of the column or we can say the more cost of building so the longer the span the distance between the two columns the greater the load acting on the columns and which effect the larger the size of the column we have to provide the more size of the column the higher dimension of the column and which ultimately affects the more cost of the building. So this was the first factor that how it affects the uh, how it affects the column size. The second factor which affects the column size that we have to increase the size of the column is depend on the height of the building. Height of the building. The second factor which affects the size of the column is the height of the building. So it, it has been proven that if you are increasing the height of the building, the, the size of the column is also increased proportionally. So let's suppose this is one building with beams, horizontal member and columns. And if this is another building which is the high, high number of floors and have the higher height than the, this building. So we have to also provide the column, but this building height is, let's suppose H1 and this height of the building is H2. So H2 is greater than the H1. So if you are increasing the height of the building, your column size is also increasing proportionally. What does it mean? It means that this column which resists the load from this, from these beams and core, from these beams and floor, it will have less effect on this column. But if you are increasing the height of the building, the more load acting on this column now, the more load will be acting on each column. So due to which we have to increase the size of the column. Each column size now will be increased if you are increasing the height of the building because the more load acting from the slabs and the beams. While in this case, if you low story building, then your column is not subjected to that much load as compared to the high rise building. So the second important factor which affects the increase of the size of the column is the height of the building. The third factor which, which affects the uh, size of the column is the type of structural building. Type of structural building. So the size of the column is also depends on the type of structural building. It means that depending on your construction of your structure for example you may have industrial building industrial building construction so the industrial building construction have different requirement for the size of the column for the commercial building it is different requirement for the size of the column for residential building it is different requirement for the size of the column so it depends on the which type of structure you are going to construct if you are uh, if you are using the multi high style high storage building, then your size of the column is different from that of the normal residential building. So that's why the size of the column is also depending on the type of structural building. If you are using industrial building, then it may require the that the size of the column is more than the commercial and residential building. So this was the third factor which affects the size of the column. Hope you guys understand the size of the column and we have why we need to increase the size of the column and what are the factors that are required in which we have to increase the size of the column so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video